So way back when I was a little boy, I always looked at computers and thought, this is awesome. They can run programs. I want to make programs. So what do you do when you want to make programs? You open a text editor. You turn on remote. And you open a text editor. You write print hello world or something. And then you rename it to mycommand.com. And you run it. And of course, that doesn't work. Because that's not how you compile software. That's not how you make things. But I didn't know. I mean, I was seven, nine, something. So I figured, well, I'll ask some, some other people. How do you write software? What kind of programs should you use to write software? So they told me to use Word, which is, it's, it's not the best. So somebody else gave me different advice, like what kind of IDE should you be using? What kind of editors? So I got Emacs, Eclipse, the usual. And since then I've learned a lot. And I now know you do not use Notepad to just rename to a .com file. That doesn't work. So today we're gonna to be using my favorite compile, uh, my favorite code editor, the GIMP. So let's start. We take a blank image. I've zoomed in to 10,000 times just so we can see it all. And we're gonna start here by adding a, a bit of a noppy gray, a bit of background. Now, let's paint in our first function call. We have some blue arguments and a green function call. And we're gonna be adding um, a bit of purple. I'd like a purple function call as well. And yeah, these colors are very saturated and bright. We need a bit of more, more mellow colors. Uh, that looks okay. But this space on the right is gray. I know it's a nice base, but I don't like gray. Let's use a bit of color. Let's make a bit of a color gradient because that looks nice. That looks better, right? Okay. And the last time I did this talk, they told me you cannot do this live. But uh, we're doing it live. <laughs> so let's switch over to the GIMP. Does anybody have a color they'd like? You can't see it? Oh, no. Then we'll have to do it live. Does anybody have a color they like, particularly? Orange. orange. Let's see if we can make a bit of orange for you. This is gonna be a bit harder because my screen's over there. And let's go and blend up an orange. So we want to have a high value for red and green, right? Okay, so let's make this 176. Let's add a bit of green. How much green do we do? Hmm. Let me just think orange. Is red okay? Okay. <laughs> I will go for red. Well, orange is a really hard color to make. I mean, it doesn't run well. Let's make, um, yeah, we'll make this one red. Any second colors? Not orange? S salmon? <laughs> salmon is a fish. Okay, 201, 70, 60, from red to green? So 201, 70, and? No, 170. 170. And? 60. Okay, which is light yellow. I'm wondering what you're making my program do. Okay, so how does that look? It looks nice and bright. Okay, so we go to the menu, and we use export as to export it as a bitmap. Yep, let's replace that. We're going to not want to have any color space information, because that doesn't run well. Okay, so let's go to the terminal, move it over to your screen. Where is my terminal? There it is, move to your screen. And we're going to be looking at our file. Okay, let's move hello world.bitmap to hello world.com. There we go. That should be do it. That should do it, right? Nope, we're starting DOSBox. And sadly, we cannot just call hello world because it's not called hello world because this is DOS. 
we have to call. Hello, tilde, which one is it? Two today, dot com. So there we go. That works fine. Hello, CPPNC 2022. And you cannot see the end of the presentation. So thank you very much.